This is Bruno, my novice. Come on, follow me. Behave yourself and don't touch a thing. Yes, master. I can't reach it from here. We have been impatiently awaiting your arrival, Brother Leonardo. I sincerely regret the delay, brother. It's all the same to me. I have explicit orders from the abbot to wait at the gate to welcome you. Even if that means spending the whole time out here on a devilish night like this. Did anyone leave the abbey last night? The compliant prayers are already over with and everyone's asleep, brother. You'll notice during your stay just how strict the schedule is at our abbey. We had a little accident. The path is filled with danger, brother. Not only due to the difficult lay of the land, but because on nights like these, robbers and thieves have the perfect conditions to commit their evil deeds. Take a good look at us, brother. Echidio. What loot could they hope for from poor monks like us? The horse and the donkey. Come in, come in. I'll take you to your cell so that you can lie down. You can see the abbot tomorrow. Brother Leonardo, it is an honor for this humble abbey to be allowed to welcome you. Father Abbot, if the honor is as great as your modesty, I don't think I deserve it. This is Bruno, the son of the Count of Capra Negra. Where were we? Ah, yes, the young man who would like to be initiated into our abbey. Father? We have brought a gift from the Count. A gift? What is it? What is it? A book that shows the Count's interest in... No, a book. I think I get the point. He's very interested in seeing his son have a successful career with the church. Father, these days a book can be a great treasure. Brother Leonardo, as with many others, news of your wisdom and perception has reached my ears as well. As there is a matter which does worry me, I would very much like to discuss it with you. Are you talking about the nighttime excursions your monks make? What do you mean by that? Yesterday we were attacked by a monk, and there aren't too many monasteries around here. I regret any such incident, but I'm sure that your eyes and the dearth of light caused illusions that deceived you. Once the prayers for Copland have been said, the monks are not allowed to leave the abbey. Is that right? All of the doors are locked tight, and the only ones who don't sleep in the Ardificium where the monk's cells are, are the brother gatekeeper and myself. It's true. We were not able to see his face. But one thing is certain. Whoever it was wanted to prevent us from speaking with you about the death of your former gatekeeper. But how? I just spied Egidius walking towards the cemetery with a wooden cross on a cart. I put two and two together and deduced that a monk must have died recently. And as Egidius was the one who waited for us last night, and the duties of a gatekeeper normally have nothing to do with those of a gravedigger, it's only logical that the deceased must be the gatekeeper. But why do you suspect that something curious is attached to that death? An accident wouldn't make you uneasy. And if the situation dealt with a suicide, you wouldn't bury him in consecrated soil. Well, well, I see that word of your fame is more than just idle talk. Father. Brother Leonardo, running an abbey is no simple task. And in times like these, preserving the righteous faith of the community is even more difficult. Day by day, the people become less God-fearing, and the devil sows his seeds on the fertile soil of doubt and fear. Doubt must be fought with diligent study. Knowledge can be a devastating temptation, too. Especially at an abbey like ours. A fortress of wisdom and knowledge.
The greatness of your library is known far and wide, as are the difficulties in seeing its best volumes. As you know, the archives of our library hold ancient and extremely rare copies of the most important writings of Christianity. Bibles, epistles from many saints, scriptures from significant blessed figures, written down to enhance the love of our Lord. It is our duty to preserve these precious books. And that's why access is denied to everyone except the librarian and his assistant. Tell me the circumstances surrounding your gatekeeper's death. A few days ago, Brother Anselmo, our gatekeeper, had a fatal accident. A censer made of solid silver that several brothers wanted to hang fell and struck him on the head. I don't see what's strange about that. It simply seems to have been an unfortunate accident. True! Be that as it may, the Brotherhood is concerned. Before he died of his injuries, Anselmo assured them again and again that strange things go on at the library. What incidents? Happenings of a supernatural nature. Who would doubt that a monastery is the best place to corrupt untainted souls? Perhaps evil is lurking like a predator after its prey. And what do you think about that? If a shepherd is told that a wolf is on the prowl, wouldn't he gather his flock and stand guard? Whatever I think is beside the point, but the monks are uneasy, and after Anselmo's death, all the more so. So you want me to look into those rumors? I'd like you to use your perceptive mind to find an explanation. As perceptive as you can be, and as discreetly as you can be. I'm all for it. We thank you, Brother Leonardo. But I will need something. I must be able to question the Brotherhood without restrictions. And as long as it doesn't disturb the Brother's work, they will be glad to help you. I thank you. Please exempt me from taking part at Mass. In a battle like this, I'm not sure if you should make do without having the power of prayer at your side. I am grateful for your concern, Father. But if there's one place at this monastery where I certainly won't find any demons, then it's the church. All right, as you wish. I need permission to enter the library. But the rule is very strict with regard to this. No one is allowed to go. If everything points to the library and strange things are happening, don't you think it could help me to find out the truth if I were allowed to go in there? I am sure you'll find a way. Lucifer already roams freely about the Abbey. There is no need for you to do so as well. At the moment, it's not Lucifer who has me worried. Brother Leonardo, this is Segundo, our prior. Brother? No, it was insane. It was insane. And that's right. I was sort of thing. It was not anything. Brother Leonardo, the responsibility I bear demands that I not only keep the faith of this monastery, but that I safeguard its treasures too. The rules that forbid entry to the library serves that purpose. And I cannot permit people to walk in and out as if it were a marketplace. But... Your mission is to investigate the death of Anselmo the Gatekeeper, and to find the signs of the devil in this matter. Then please excuse me, Father. I have a job to do. This is Bruno, my personal toothache. Come on, follow me. 
Behave yourself and don't touch a thing. Yes, Master. Bruno holds him in high esteem, and I think the feeling is mutual. I hope his energy is replenished during our stay at the Abbey. It's going to be needed for the journey back. He's currently keeping an eye on my old travelling companion. Brother. What do you want? I'd like to ask you a few questions about the mystery surrounding Anselmo's death. Mystery? There's no mystery. A frankincense sensor weighing 200 pounds fell on his head. If I'm not mistaken, accidents like that are fatal. You seem to be quite sure of yourself. Indeed, I'm sure. I was there. Beg your pardon? I was one of those holding the rope for the censor together with Nicholas and Godfrey. We had just fixed the rope in place and were wondering if the height was right when it suddenly split apart. Anselmo and the abbot were underneath the censor, but Anselmo didn't get away in time. As you can plainly see, if there's anyone to blame for all this, then it's a rotten rope. About something different. Didn't you ask yourself if maybe it wasn't an accident? I don't ask. I thought questions were what you do. Right you are, but you're forgetting that you must answer them. No. What do you mean, no? I didn't ask myself if it wasn't an accident. Satisfied? Where is the murder weapon? What I want to say is about the accident. Back there. It was taken here since there was no room for the repairs in the smithy. We're leaving. Are you going to be nearby? I hope not. Let's take a closer look at it. The fraying is much too clean. The weight of the sensor can't have caused that. At the same time, it's too coarse to have been made by a sharp instrument. Hmm, interesting. What have you found, Master? Oh my god, it, it's blood. You found some, some evidence. Think about it, Bruno. Do you really believe that finding blood in a censer that struck a monk and killed him can automatically be called evidence? Besides, it's not blood at all. It's not. Look closely at the way it dried. If it were blood, the texture and color would look very different. I think it came from some kind of pigment. Red ink, for example. Isn't that interesting? Ink? Why should ink be interesting? Think about it, Bruno. Where can we find red ink at the Abbey? 